I'm Jim Carter with your WCCM News Talk headlines for this Thursday, July 26th. Published reports today indicate that a 27-year-old correction officer from Draken, who was a standout athlete at Draken High School, may have taken his own life yesterday in an early morning car crash. Massachusetts State Police, along with agents from the FBI and Lawrence Detectives, raided an apartment building on Andover Street in the city of Lawrence yesterday. The raid was believed to be drug-related. Police chase, which began yesterday morning in Lowell, ended in the afternoon after the suspect was fished out of the Merrimack River near the Tingsboro Bridge. Massachusetts State House Democrats will be retaining control of the legislature after this fall's election due to a lack of Republican challengers. According to information from both parties, of the 155 Democrats running for re-election this fall, only 42 will face a challenge from a Republican. A New Hampshire state representative is denying charges of assaulting his ex-wife and another man at the Fish and Game Club. Representative Patrick Garrity, who is also a city firefighter in Manchester, New Hampshire, was arrested earlier this week. And spraying to kill mosquitoes to prevent the spread of disease such as West Nile and Eastern Equine Encephalitis begins tonight in Methuen, begins Monday and Tuesday in Haverhill. Rain could prevent it from happening in Methuen tonight and it might be moved till tomorrow night. The Andover Board of Health will be meeting tonight to determine if they'll be spraying in that community. We thank you for viewing our video news talk headlines. On behalf of Bruce Arnold and Lou Blassie, I'm Jim Carter. 1110 AM WCCM and 102.9 FM HD2. Local news first.